things in here. These are found off the coast of South Africa and Namibia. So in designing this particular habitat and all penguin habitats, you first take a look at how many adults you want to have um, as a maximum number. And you also take a look at how much food you'd be feeding them to make sure that the water can adequately handle the amount of waste that they're going to produce. So you make sure you have all the life support available for the number of birds that, you are necess that are necessary or that you want to be able to keep. What went into, what's the sort of like technology behind some of these things? Like it looks like the lights are very specific. It's kind of, looks like two white lights and then a black light in between. I know, I don't to look at them because they're so bright. Um, we had, I went through, did a lot of research, came up with what the spectrum lighting that they should be having, the UV, minimum UV that Based they should have. Based on their like home territory. Exactly. Um, what kind of length of daylight that they should be having. Um, and we have sunrise and sunset in here. We have um, a, a romantic kind of mid, um, gibbous, gib gibbous moon um, kind of effect. <laughs> Um, we've got midnight black, I mean, where it's just completely dark, and that changes throughout the year. It's all computer driven. Um, in terms of our air handling, it's laboratory quality, and it changes throughout the year. We change the temperature throughout the year. Our water quality, we've got ozone, we've got sand filters, we've got bio towers, we've got everything to have the best water quality possible. It seems right now like they're really happy, but there's no, we're looking out sort of empty exhibit hall that's soon going to be filled with people, including like snotty, bratty little kids who are going to bang on, on their cage. I mean, how are they going to respond to that? I mean, were there, were there like tests? Did you bring in like a bunch of brats and like see how they dealt with it? Or? We have had some of these birds for 25 years of their life. So our 25-year-old we've had for 25 years. <laughs> so he has had children and even adults hitting the glass the whole time. What's great is that we've got the distance away from the glass. If they don't want to be by that, they can come back. You can probably tell there's a kind of bass sound in here, kind of a white noise sound. Mm -hmm. That's our air handling. Um, our air system is quite, it's quite extravagant, which is also helps to serve as a noise barrier. And then we have cement. There's all these walls around the glass are all very, very thick cement. So we can even have piano playing out there and they're not going to hear it. Ultimately, you know that their needs have been met when they establish a home. We've already had penguins that are laying eggs in here. We already have territories established. And by him puffing his chest out and sticking his head up in the air, it means that he's comfortable. It's really interesting being on this side of the glass. There, he seems very friendly and cute. And in here, he's like kind of a wannabe dominant male. He's right. kind of got a macho personality. Right. And so you've had it actually kind of an extraordinary number of births of, uh, of young penguins, seven? In the, no, we had the seven hatch out last year. Uh, so normally at about week three or four, when they're up and walking around, we actually get involved, our staff gets involved and does raising from that point on. Um, the reason that we do the raising for the parents is because in the wild, the parents would be quite a bit farther away from the water. And as the chicks begin to explore just outside of the nest, they wouldn't fall into the pool or fall into the ocean. But in here, they have that potential to fall into the water. Our minimum standards are based on their overall health. Do they get along? Are they reproducing? Um, are they living at least as long as they would in the wild, if not longer? Um, we ha our oldest penguin here is 25. He's my guard penguin. <laughs>